Ooh, that was bright. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the WK Burnout Studio. I'm Christina. And I'm Dustin. Alan, back there behind the behind the scenes, making all this happen. Executive hey. producer. He is. Yes. But uh, Dustin, what yes. are we going to talk about today? Junk in the trunk. Yep. Right? Junk in the trunk. And it's not the song. Is no. there a song, Junk in the is Trunk? It, no, but we could write one pretty easily. Yeah. Can I sing? Yes, you can, because there's nothing wrong with your singing. <laughs> Dustin does all. not like my singing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyways. Anyhow. No singing. Um, what we wanted to talk about today is we're looking on Facebook, you know, as you're scrolling through and you see, I mean, it's August, so it's back to school time. Oh, it's yeah. our friends have, as we get older, have Kids, going, kids to going to college, yeah. you know, yeah. or returning to college. Yeah. And people looking for cars for their kids too. So there's, yeah. there's a bunch of, bunch of that going on. All, 16 year olds, like first car. Yeah. And that was another thing. Yeah. P- getting their permit or passing their, you know, their license. Like it's a busy time. Yeah. So, and as we, shoot, sorry, as we, as we scroll through and I see that, I see, you know, new dorm, you know, new dorm all decorated up pictures on the wall comforters you know new comforters what would mandy say a bed bed (laughs) whatever yeah whatever and mirrors and stuff but what about what are they doing for their vehicles for for the multiple things you need to do for your vehicles right yeah like first step you talked about was check them out yeah like if your kid's going to college, you should drive their car down exactly. the street for a little bit. Yeah. You're not a mechanic. I get it. But if something is going clunk, 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 clunk. They don't know. They don't know. And sometimes <laughs> they don't say anything for years. Yeah. It can literally have a strut mount completely just <laughs> bored out. Mm-hmm. It, they just turn the they're radio just, up. They're just turning the radio up. It's just like it's not even there. But yeah, yeah. there's there's some safety things you could bump into. Brakes. I mean, they might not know what bad brakes sound like if right. you haven't, you know, trained them on this stuff. So yeah. drive their car, check it out like that. Yep. And then then do, you know, the basic other checks like checking the oil, tire pressure, look yep. at the tires, turn the wheel all the way so you can look at the inside of the tires. Mm-hmm. Make sure they're not showing cords on the inside, but you can fit a, right. you know, penny in penny. on the outside. So, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. But then there's the well, junk in the trunk, right? Yeah, junk in the trunk. But, but before we get that oh, far, sorry. let's yeah. talk about... Like when you buy your vehicle or you have your insurance or whatever the case may be, you may have OnStar yeah. connected. You may have roadside assistance. Yeah. Does your child, Alan, we got to fix this. <laughs> <laughs> Does your child know <laughs> when to use those things? You know, like yeah. when, when and to how use. And what, what they actually do whenever they choose to use those things. Right. right. So. Examples would be, you know, if the vehicle that you have your kid in is equipped with OnStar, uh, they need to know that what type of emergency to push what button in or Mm -hmm. for total non-emergencies that you pay for the service, they can hit that button. Yeah. Even if it's their friends in the car looking for a pizza place. Hello, hit the button. Just ask them. They'll tell you and you won't be, you know, playing with your phone or messing around. Right. You know, getting tickets or being distracted. Yeah, exactly. Which is. Number you know, one thing for a teenager. There's that with OnStar, right? Mm-hmm. And then, mm-hmm. I mean, what else is there? Well, it, how many, we've all been there where we've locked our keys in our car. Oh, yeah. This is one That's of the one easiest things, you yeah. know, like, and if you have OnStar, you should have your My Brand app, whether that's My Chevrolet, My Buick, whatever. So you can lock and unlock your car from the app. So you get a call from your daughter at, whatever, five o'clock, she's on her way to volleyball practice and she's locked her keys in her car and frantically, you know, so you're freaking out trying to talk, call a tow company who's going to charge you $65 to come unlock the keys out of her car Mm -hmm. when really could have just opened up your app, hit unlock, and then she could have gotten her keys right out and then on her way to volleyball practice. So exactly. But if you don't know you have those or they don't know, you know, you have those services Got to make sure that, you know, you explore those and talk about those things. Yeah. And then more about like roadside assistance, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that could be, Christina said, even through your insurance company, right? Yep. So there, there are some cases like that. Uh, some cases, AAA mm-hmm. uh, is, you know, but there are lots of other, you know, roadside assistance uh, 
outfits you can subscribe to, or even just like how to call a tow place yeah. or a lock. It let, let, make sure they understand that the people that tow the cars also usually do the unlocking service or bring gas yeah. or help change tires too. Yeah. So we'll know, you know, like yeah. call your, call your insurance company, call your oh, warranty yeah, company, definitely. whoever, and say, Hey, do I have roadside assistance? Oh yeah. Warranties too. Like your, yeah. your extended warranty on your car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They that's can true. offer that as well. So yeah. there's so many, you just need to make a phone call, you know, yeah. to find out, do you have it? And if so, number one, what's the contact number? If something happens, who do I call? Yeah. Take, take it, like tape it on a, on a piece of tape inside the glove box mm -hmm. door. So they have to know where it is. Yeah. You know, it's not just in their phone. It's yeah. there. It's right there. Yeah. Yep. That's handy. And, and then know what services, if I run out of gas, if I have a flat tire, if my car just won't turn over or whatever the case yeah. may be. Yes. Of course, they're probably going to try to call mom or dad, you know, first, but. Then, right. You but know. we're just saying, don't send them out there blind. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, there's, there are lots of opportunities for you to provide them with the information to help themselves. Right. That and you probably already pay for. Yeah. You probably already paid for it anyhow. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So just, just let's think about yeah. those things as, as, as we go mm -hmm. on to the junk next in... part, which is junk in the trunk. Yeah. Junk in the trunk. I was gonna say junk in your trunk, but no, junk in the your, trunk. It's our trunk. Whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. But mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, we're talking about like a bug out bag or a roadside emergency bag uh, for the trunk of the car, something mm -hmm. that, you know, you could potentially pass from vehicle to vehicle when you're like a, the family could use one. But dude, there's some really, really helpful stuff to mm -hmm. have in there that everybody should have in the car with them. I mean, yeah, there's we, we've kind of compiled a list. We have compiled a list uh, and it's pretty inexpensive. So, yeah, this is cheap stuff, but yeah. it's just like, man, I'm glad I have this. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the things like I think about is a blanket. Yeah. Like it could be like a blankie blankie. It could be a, you know, a space blanket. One of those, uh, you know, emergency blankets looks like aluminum foil. Tim, yeah. Those like, work really well. Mm -hmm. And there are circumstances where you would need to use one of those. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, if you think about it, a lot of people run to the store real quick with like flip flops on and it's 30 degrees out. You're just going to the store real quick. You're going to the drive through even. Right. And, and then, yeah. but all of a sudden you get a flat tire and you got uh -huh. flip flops and gym shorts on. It's 22 degrees. And you have an eighth of a tank of gas. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> it's, you got some choices to make and it might be to wrap a space blanket around your shoulders and get out there and get to work. Yep. So, you know, that they're, that's a really good one. Yes. I like that one. Even though it seems like it's a, why do I need a blanket? I'm going to stay the night. You might stay the night in your car someday. It happens. You don't know. Yeah. And so. And let's Be just prepared. and let's just talk about that new drivers or even college. You're in a town that you you're not familiar with. You're driving around and maybe you don't know where you are and you got a flat tire, you know, and you may need that blanket, you know, just because it's yeah, you don't know. You, know, you never know. Teenagers know. aren't. Yeah. The smartest all the or they time. They could use it. Yeah. I don't know. They're teenagers. They could use it as like, I don't know, a hang glider or something. Whatever. They'll be glad they have it either way. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, another uh, thing flashlight. A flashlight. Ooh, I thought about this with the flashlight too. Mm -hmm. So, a flashlight with batteries, not like a charge up lithium flashlight because mm -hmm. that won't last as long in the bag as a, you know, old school where you actually put a couple of double A's in or mm -hmm. D batteries or something. I think mm -hmm. C's and D's keep longer. Oh, yeah. They have a shelf life yeah. that's longer than a, a pre-charged rechargeable battery. Mm -hmm. So, and don't put them in the flashlight yet. Like leave them separate, you know, put them in there. They Makes sense. Bad weather in there. So yeah. flashlight talk, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's something to think <laughs> about is, really yeah. is to have, cause those are dirt cheap too. little double mm -hmm. A power. You can get those a dollar general for like a dollar. Yeah. So. Uh, and it's something you don't think about it till you need it. Yeah. And when you need mm -hmm. it, you're like, Oh my God, I'm so glad I have this $1 flashlight. <laughs> Because it's, I'm it's glad my, my dad right packed now. this yeah, in thanks, the bag. Dad. Thanks, dude. You're great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? Oh, gosh. We have a whole list. Oh, we we did compile a really good list. Uh, well, toilet, toilet paper. I, toilet paper. That's yeah. a good one. Or yeah. toiletries. Toiletries. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it is that you could need in that situation. Sometimes girls need different things than yeah, boys. That's that's what I hear. Sorry. Um, oh, okay. So uh, we talked about having jumper cables. Mm -hmm. which duh, right? Jumper mm -hmm. cables has always been like a basic staple of a road. It might not have anything else useful in there, but it'll usually have a set of cables. Those are good, but maybe having a jump pack. I mean, if you're a kid, you should maybe you, it could help you with a couple of things like 
getting out of sticky situations, mm -hmm. uh, like whenever your battery's dead, you could use a little jump pack for that. Mm -hmm. Or helping all of your friends whose batteries are dead all the time, too. Mm -hmm. It would be handy to just have one of those and just roll with it all the time. I think that's a, a good idea for yeah. for any kid. I have one with me all the time, so I can be a hero. It's like, your battery's dead. Here I come. Just plug it in real Call quick. Button. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> are you gonna put are you gonna put your phone number at the bottom down in the show notes to, oh, yeah. You know? yeah, just call just Dusty. Kidding. He can he can unlock your doors too. You can do anything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um something else to think about. I always have I don't go anywhere without a bottle bottle of water. But oh, yeah. you know, a couple of bottles of water and some non perishable food items. So like granola bars yeah. or even crackers, something that if you're going to leave it in there, you know, it, it may. It's going to keep. Yeah. You know, it may be six months before you change it, it could, out it, or yeah, a year or be, whatever. It could be even longer. You know, put some sardines yeah. in there. That mm. way you know it's a real emergency. You're hungry enough mm. to eat sardines. Yeah, I was going through like non-perishable <laughs> things and it was yeah. like tuna and whatever. I'm like, yeah. oh, can you imagine if it's like 105 degrees oh, outside man. and you go to get in the bag and. Uh, no. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. So here's another one that we've talked about a little bit. Uh, it's kind of in the same vein as earlier. We talked about knowing your, your car, checking out the car for them. Uh, make sure that their spare tire has air in it. Ooh, yep. If it's a 25 year old car and the donut's never been used, make mm -hmm. sure it has air in it. Make sure the jack and tools are there, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, but also this is, this may sound crazy, but make sure that they know how to use it and make sure, I mean, if you, this is an opportunity, maybe if you haven't done it before, it's easy. Right. So just get it out and show them and you could be learning at the same time as them. Like it's, how to use the jack and tools uh, that are provided with your car or whoa this is a big surprise for a lot of people your car didn't come with one because it came with an inflator kit i just learned about this yeah M i mean i don't want to say the vast majority but let's go ahead and say the majority of new vehicles made today don't mm -hmm. come with a spare tire not even a donut right they come with basically it's like tire slime you know fix a flat uh and it isn't a compressor that plugs into your cigarette lighter, right? Hmm. And that you hook up to the tire valve stem and you hit the button and it goes. Mm -hmm. And then it airs up your tire and it puts slime in there, seals the, the puncture. So to it won't work on like to a totally, someplace, yeah, yeah, to get you to somewhere. I mean, they'll, they'll get you down the road for quite a while, you know. Call uh, somebody the next day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you should. But there's just, it can, it can definitely help get you back on the road. But you, you need to know, you know, mm -hmm. because a lot of late model cars don't even have a donut or anything. They just have that inflator deal. So yeah. make sure it's there. Make sure you have the, the can of uh, slimy stuff that goes with it. Um, and you know how to use it. And that you know how to use it. Or yeah. your kids in this case. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's a, that's a pretty, that's a pretty big one. Those little, little, you know, change in a tire, spare tire or inflator kit type of deals. And if you don't have any, even if you have a spare tire, a donut, mm -hmm. you might still have a thing of fix a flat because there could be instances where you can't, you just, you're in a spot where you can't get the car jacked up, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Soft shoulder, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, you might really need to just use your fix flat to get out of that, that thing. So there you go. What else we got? Phone charger. Oh, we talked about a real phone charger too, yes. didn't we? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Because so, Remember how the phone chargers used to have the thing that plugged into the cigarette lighter power port, not a USB deal on it. It was just that plugged in and had the cord. Mm -hmm. That's called like a theft proof phone charger <laughs> because no kid's going to take that. Nobody's going to take that because it, all, know. It, all it does, they don't even know what it is. Like, why is this weird end on this USB cable? Well, no, dude, it doesn't. Yeah, it just plugs into the cigarette lighter outlet. Mm -hmm. That's a good one to have because you won't even take it from yourself. It'll be right. there when you need it. Right. Yep. So that's I think that's pretty. Yeah. Pretty handy. Um, talked about like uh, sometimes the roadside emergency flags. Mm -hmm. Dude, if it's dark outside and you're changing a tire on a shoulder, mm -hmm. you'd better like use everything at your disposal to make sure people see you. Yes. And they get, you know, hazards for sure. But yeah. we're talking like if you got a friend that can be, you know, 20 yards up the road with a flashlight going like this right. or something or, or put out, make sure and put out your little cones. A lot of those are in your basic roadside emergency kits, but a few of the things we've mm -hmm. talked about would be add-ons to that kit to make it a complete package. Yes. Right. Because nothing like last minute you're going over a hill and then all of a sudden somebody's on the side of, you know, on oh, the side know, of the yeah. road. Like, Suck. yeah. And well, it's just accidents happen. But yeah. And, and stuff, do whatever you, you're to never going to control where, uh, you know, all this stuff, where things go wrong. Mm -hmm. That's why they call it going wrong. It's because it is not yeah. where you planned on it happening. Right. So <laughs> true. You know, 
what um, else we got? Something that I cannot remember where I saw this, seen this years ago, but in your bag have twenty dollars. Oh of yeah, cash. that's and a good then idea too. Even one thing that we had talked about before we started recording was even like if it's after hour, you know, you have twenty dollars cash. So if you run out of gas, you know, and you have to go, yeah, or you have to like bribe somebody for a ride or, or yeah, pay, whatever pay the, bribe, the case may be. But if it's after hours and there's no gas stations open, but you can pay at the pump, you know, for yeah. your gallon or two of gas. Well, they don't, you can't put cash inside yeah. the pump. Yeah. So maybe even a, a debit a card, credit debit card, thing. card thing. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a really mm-hmm. good idea just to have that yeah. on hand just in case. Cause right. you never know people get like mugged and stuff, mm-hmm. not us, but Mm-mm. people. No. So, and don't use it to you make sure you tell your kids or whoever, it's not twenty dollars. Like, oh yeah, hey, I got twenty I got bucks, 20, guys. I, I can got get, twenty in the roadside emergency get, bag. Now yeah, you need I that for roadside Taco emergency, Bell. man. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, that could no. be an emergency in some cases, but they got it. You took care of them. That's the important <laughs> thing, right? Um, I can't. What's that? Where we're? Where, I think that's. Uh, I think that's pretty much the. That's the gist of the list. That's kind of the yeah. Until Alan. Oh, this is a good one too. Yeah, Thanks, Alan won't Alan. let us have our notes. Yeah, he won't so let us we have, have our notes. Like, so we're literally hey, reading his lips while he said, while he said, on our notes are over there. Yeah. He's probably looking at them. But anyhow, <laughs> duct tape, duct tape, duct, duct tape. Okay. Yes. It's very useful for fixing things. But even if you can't fix anything, if you get a small fender bender, your bumper will probably fall off. That's most modern mm-hmm. automobiles. If you get it a scrape in the front end, that little you know, fascia cover just fought, just falls off. Mm-hmm. So if you, if you want to keep it, get it put back on or put it back, just duct tape it on. It'll ride. <laughs> just do it. You can duct tape your fender back on. You can duct tape everything. And seriously, if you get a little fender yeah. bender and your car's still Makes drivable, sense. you know, the other person, the other party, the police, everybody's like, see you. And you're just like, uh, I got this fender here. Yeah. I mean, tape it, tape it on. Right. Duct tape goes a long ways. Hold it up. Anyways. Yeah. Think of anything else. I mean, just. I don't know. We better ask Alan. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> he did he a hand motion. It's like charades. He did hand motions that time. Uh, we talked about having a knife. Have a pocket a, knife. Have a big pocket knife in there because yeah. you could use that for multiple things. It could be part of the fixing of stuff. It could be for, you know, self defense, something like that. Um, <laughs> that and, and probably in the way of tools, best thing to have would be a big old set of pliers. Yeah. Uh, that that'll go a long ways in fixing, you know, things that you can see like, hey, that needs to be fixed, like sure. really easy stuff uh, all the way up to maybe some more complicated things that you can take care of with mm-hmm. pliers. Screwdriver oh, would be handy all these too. Tools, he's getting things out of yeah. his tool bag now. Screwdriver would be Look, great. You're, I it's agree. A, it's a Flathead college and kid. Phillips. They Flathead are. and Phillips. They can't use Phillips. They're not done with college yet. So <laughs> just flathead screwdrivers. <laughs> We're not trying to build stuff, Bob the Builder. <laughs> Hammer nails, <laughs> but just the basic but stuff. Yeah, get, get some basics in a in a mm-hmm. roadside kit, and that that can really help you out a lot. We I feel like we threw yeah. a couple of things in there that are like, well, I didn't think of that. So yeah, those are the main things. I mean, the basics would be to get a kit and then add things to it that you think you would need. You just need a bag, like you know, not very big. Yeah, but it's it's all all comes highly recommended. That, Absolutely, your knowledge of your your OnStar. Having spare spare uh, or access to unlock stuff, mm-hmm. yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. So, and it's things that, like, for instance, I'm going through this and I'm like, oh, this is you know recommended, you know, to to have in emergency situations. Guess what? I don't have any of those. You don't have any of that I stuff. have water. <laughs> I have water. water. You got water. Well, good. I have water in my car, and you'd be stranded as heck. I, I but have, you'd be hydrated. Yeah, I'm sure I have roadside <laughs> assistance, but you do. I'll you figure do. it out. Yeah, you'll be I all right. you know, and the OnStar button. But if push came to shove, I don't have that stuff in my vehicle. So guess what I'm doing? I'm gonna go get me a safe. A, what'd you call it? junk in the trunk bag? Junk in the trunk bag. Yeah, mm-hmm. cool. I am something like that. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll say I, I probably do have all that stuff in my truck, but I have like drawers and everything in the bed. So I have all sorts of stuff. It's a decked cargo management system. Hoping for a sponsorship. I don't know what any of that is. It's pretty cool. But yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. I've, I've got a bunch of stuff. I've got like three first aid kits. Well, but so you're, many Band-Aids. you're also like Cub Scouts. Oh yeah. You know? Well, yeah. So yeah. it's my thing. Yeah. You like, you know how to change a tire. You know how to, you know, do these other little things. I would 
just be hanging out waiting for somebody to tow truck person to come and get me. Or I would call Dustin. I need in my car. (laughs) Help me. You know, somebody. (laughs) I mean, yes, we have the service, you know, the service department, but still like. Yeah, it's it's something just a little bit more to make yourself comfortable and make your child comfortable if there's ever any situation easier knowing as they're like driving off and you wave and goodbye Mm -hmm. feel a little bit better knowing that like right around the corner when they you know run out of gas (laughs) because they're kids so they're always running on e (laughs) that they'll have some emergency stuff so that they could uh they could get to the gas station somehow or they'll know who who to call yeah exactly yeah right all right be prepared that's it be prepared junk in the trunk junk in the trunk yeah alan is thinking right no, now he's he's reeling right now <laughs> all right all right <laughs> all right guys well if you found this episode funny informational informative come on <laughs> i was waiting <laughs> entertaining um please like share and uh we appreciate all of your support and yeah, thank you. we will cruise on by and pick you up next week Bye, guys. Bye.